Welcome back to uh, Tim's Creepy Art and today we're going to be reviewing the Dealer Roni Palette Knife Set. Now first of all, the packaging is quite well done so I'm going to give this 4.5 Splunies out of 5. Um, look at the back, um, comes with all the basic information that you need from palette knives so in different languages which is quite good. You have the different types um palette knife now palette knives are quite you know important for an artist generally for mixing and for a bit of painting as well um i think this would have got five out of five but i think it's the you know the person i bought this off posted this in a bad way but you know um but yeah so here are the palette knives um again the plastic is quite neat so I give that. Um, have a look at the paddle knife itself. So this is a smaller one, and yeah, quite yeah, quite strong, quite well made. I quite like how this looks. So style, this gets five out of five spoonies. You know, so I'm not going to deduct at any points. Um, yeah, this is definitely five out of five spoonies. Um, quite like the variation of knives which is pretty much what you want from your palette knife set so you know um, but yeah um, so here's all of them out of the packaging so you know I would say that this is a very satisfying set of palette knives so we'll compare it to like the old ones I was using. So these were just some basic ones I bought from Spotlight. Um, huge difference is this set doesn't come with one of uh, this particular shape of palette knife. But then again, I don't use this really. This is just more or less I use this for cleaning my palette. So this isn't too much of a well of a of an upset for me. So I can move on with that. Um, so we've got the small ones comparison. Now, this one has got good give to it. Quite, quite like that. This one, it's of course, I've got quite good give. But I'm not too... I think this generally beats it out just on style. And just like on the size of the handle. Ooh, even on the tips, this... The... Dealeroni is definitely better. So, you know. So now we're just gonna give these a bit of a test with some with some paint. If you give me one second. Okay. So we're just gonna use some cheap paint that I have laying around, and we'll pull out a palette. And we're gonna more or less see how these go one on one. So we're gonna give them both a pretty equal um, sort of amount of paint to work with. There we go, and there you go. Yeah. So first things first, we're gonna start off with. Two, uh, two little knives going head to head. So first things first, we just want to grab. This is for mixing, but I'm not really looking for that at the moment because generally the paint itself will mix, so we don't need to worry. It's just how this handles. And we're just gonna lift it up and we're gonna try and butter it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's very smooth when it comes to spreading out your paint. So now we're just going to grab this one a bit more relatively the same but I wouldn't say it feels smooth as opposed to this one because I think this one has this one like you know the this brand definitely has more less give than um, our little friend here but you know it is what it is but we'll go racing there. 
Right, you see, yeah. Now I'm gonna go with a little bit more pressure. Oh yeah. It's night and day, you know. So much better. Yeah. So if you are gonna, you know, buy palette knives, if you wanna keep to a budget, you can buy these ones from Spotlight. I got these for about, for a set of five, for about $15. But I did spend a little bit more extra money on this. So this cost me for the whole set 60 bucks. And to be honest, I'm gonna stick with these ones going forward. So these ones are gonna go into the retirement drawer. But yeah, until next time, stay creepy.